I have a question from trig trigonometry. So how are we going to answer this question? You want us to find all the solutions between zero degrees and 360 degrees. Of course, that is zero and two pi radians. How do you solve this question? So what the absolute value means is if you add the negative result, you'd still get that answer. So what it implies is if you have a minus two and then you have a two, in this case, so considering a case where you have a theta that gives you a minus 2 inside, the answer will still be equal to 2. Or if you have a positive 2, it should still be equal to 2. So we have two cases now. So the first case, we are going to consider it to be positive as it is. So say 3 sine theta minus 1, remove the absolute value, so equal to 2 as it is. And then we can simplify it now. If you correct the like terms, you expect that the one will go the other side. Now 2 plus 1 will give us a 3. So you have a common factor of a 3. You can divide by 3 both sides. So you have sine theta on the left remaining. 3 divided by 3, that is equivalent to a 1, right? Now you ask yourself a question. If you look at the sine graph, when do you expect your theta to be equal to 1? So I understand that the sine graph moves like this. Okay? So in case you've got some challenges with that, make sure you watch the video, my introduction on trigonometry. The tag has been shown there. Okay, you can check the video at the end of this video as well. You have it. So you understand that that's uh, at 180, and then at the end it's eh, 360. So in between it's 270, in between there it's 90. And then the amplitude is a 1. That's for a sine graph, sine x. So therefore, in such a case, we can clearly see that a theta of a 90 is what is basically able to give us what? To give us a 1. Sine 90 is basically giving us a value of a 1. Is there anything else that is below 360 that gives us that value? Of course not. It's only 1.90. Okay, that's for our first solution. Okay. Now, we can now handle the other case. So take note of the solution. Solution is 90. Now, we have another case now. Even if we had the negative 2 inside our absolute value, we still expect that it will give us a positive because that's what the absolute value does. So consider that case. Now we have 3 sine theta. If the, 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 the negative 1 goes the other side, it becomes a positive. So now, of course, we are using the additive inverse on both sides. Plus 1, plus 1. So minus 2 plus 1 is going to give us a minus 1. We can divide both sides by 3. Sine theta becomes equal to negative 1 over 3. Okay. Now, if you ask yourself a question at that point, what's a, what value of the angle theta is supposed to give you a 1 over 3? Okay. So, of course, we'll try to ignore the negative. We ignore the negative. So, say, sine inverse of positive 1 over 3. So, let that, since we're ignoring the negative, We'll let that be equal to, let's say, alpha. So what answer are you going to get if you punch on a calculator? Sine inverse of 1 over 3. So let me just punch that on my calculator as well. The result that I'm getting is basically 19.47 degrees. Okay. Now, what's the case where we consider a positive value? Now, in this case, we have a negative value. So ask yourselves, if you look at the quadrants, in which quadrant? So if you also don't understand how that works. So in which quadrant did we have our sign to be negative? So if you don't understand what that means, you, have, you can watch a video about my introduction to trigonometry, which appears at the end of this video. So in which quadrant is sign negative? Of course, we understand... In the first quadrant, they are all positive. In, this, in the first quadrant, they are all positive. In the second, sine is positive. 
So therefore sine is negative in the other two quadrants, the third and the fourth. So how do you find the angles in these two quadrants? So in the third one, you add to 180. In the last one, you subtract from this kisti. So using our value of 19.47, we'll start first of all by adding it to 180. So 180 plus 19.47. So I'm getting a value of 199. So that is part of a solution set, 199.47 degrees. Then the other result as well, you remember it's supposed to be a subtraction, right? Risk is step. So first is step minus 19.47, I have a 340.53 degrees. Okay, so these are the expected solutions to that question. Okay. So if you don't understand some of the things I've been using to answer, applying the tree rules and the quadrants, the, the sign graph, and the, the, also the other graphs, you can watch this video to understand that.